1769, in Brescia, a large store of gunpowder happened to be struck by lightning, causing a large catastrophic explosion, killing as many as 3,000 local people. During the 18th century, Brescia was a city in northern Italy ruled over at the time by the Venetian Republic. Being that the Venetians were big on trade, the city would be considered a center of commerce and busy workings, and with being a larger city, a military presence was required for the peace to be kept. A number of military strongpoints throughout the city could be noticed, with the keeping of military forces in a city at a time when gunpowder was the predominant fighting tool, it would have to be stockpiled in the city for use in an invasion. In keeping with religious traditions and the belief that God was on their side, the Venetians stored gunpowder inside the bastion of the Basilica San Nazaro. The total amount of gunpowder in the bastion in the church's basement would be around 198,416 pounds or roughly 90,000 kilograms. There is one other aspect to consider in getting the full picture, lightning. Throughout the Middle Ages and the early modern period, churches were built high as if to reach to the heavens. With tall structures, another factor comes into notice. Lightning will always search for the fastest way to the ground, and being that a church is built quite tall, it acts as a natural conductor for the lightning's path. During storms of the past, it was believed that prayer could ward off the strikes of lightning, as lightning passing through a building can possess such a destructive force that it may pass through the construction to explode bricks, melt materials, and cause fires. There was no escape from the wrath of Zeus's bolt, as lightning strikes were in their infancy and wouldn't have been looked at seriously until after the night of August 18th, 1769. During the night of the 18th, a busy population lays its head to sleep, as a violent and vicious storm looms over the to-be-damned city. A torrent of flashes and eruptions as the storm attacks the city. A sudden and enormous explosion sets off, as the bastion of San Ozero is struck by lightning. The shock traveling down the brickwork and striking the powder magazine in the basement. Causing such an enormous explosion, the entire structure is plucked of its landmark and cast out to shower the city and country for a kilometer around. Every door and window is reduced to splinter and shard. Every home in the city is rocked in madness as if the apocalypse itself had started. Debris and great chunks of stone rain down on houses, churches, even shelters and monasteries are disturbed by the casting of stone. The people in the streets are either thrown by the shockwave or crushed by falling rubble. Fire is burned throughout the city with bellowing smoke filling the streets and burning sky. As though in an instant, one-sixth of the city was reduced to rubble, with 200 houses destroyed and over 500 in ruin. The setting would be one to compare with a battle, the screams and the cries, as people struggled to grasp how they would be so struck from the heavens. As the days went on, reports would total up the dead as up to 2,500, or in some cases as high as 6,000, which may be exaggerated. It would take two full years for the repairs and rebuilding to be complete, with an official report of the incident appearing in 1771, listing the dead as 400 with 800 wounded. After the explosion, the world would view what hazards could come from lightning and haphazard storage, with the British government mandating the storage and condition of gunpowder from that point on. In America, in reaction to the explosion, the talk of lightning rods became a serious convention, with Benjamin Franklin advising the use of pointed lightning rods over that of rounded ones.